Hi everybody, welcome back to the Seesaw. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas. It's between Christmas and New Year now, which is the time when you can't remember what day it is or anything. Um, it is Friday here, the 27th, um, when I'm recording this. I did decide to go into town and do my normal Sainsbury shop, or my normal grocery shop at Sainsbury's this morning. A couple of reasons. One is that we are out going on with my hair there we are out tomorrow so I can't do it on Saturday as usual um, Sunday I don't like shopping on a Sunday because I like to shop either early or late and Sundays doesn't work for that because it's 10 till 4 um, I could have ordered a delivery but there were a few things I just wanted to look for um, rather than um, do a planned grocery online shop although I am planning to do more of those in the new year um, so yeah, I decided to go to Sainsbury's, no real reason really, just wanted to try Sainsbury's. Um, there were a few branded things I needed or specific items I needed that I knew I wouldn't be able to find at Aldi. I didn't want to go running around different stores today, so I needed to either go to Tesco or Sainsbury's and I just opted for Sainsbury's. So I spent £93, which is about normal for a weekly shop at Sainsbury's. Didn't get as much as I would normally buy. Certainly didn't buy any treats and stuff like that. Don't know about you, but I'm quite happy to be looking forward to a normal week of meals. We do have a few things on this week, so it's not quite back to normal. Um, but buying fruits and vegetables and not lots of extra bits was quite nice today. Um, so, yeah, uh, it... And I did buy an extra day's food because I bought stuff for tonight's dinner. Um, we're having chicken goujons with potatoes and vegetables tonight. The boys are having mash. I'm having sweet potato, baked sweet potato and then vegetables. So I did buy the stuff for that. Um, but other than that, but then we've got two nights where we're not eating over the next week. So it balances out. So £93. Um, I did get two, three different lots of chicken, which I think makes a difference. Didn't get as many vegetables as usual, but got quite a lot of fruit. I've still got quite a lot of vegetables in the freezer, in the fridge. Um, couldn't find a couple of things. I wanted some butternut squash to make some soup up for this week ahead. They didn't have any, so I'll have to go and grab one of those from somewhere else over the weekend. Um, my glasses keep falling off my face. I'm not sure what's going on with them today. Um, so yeah, I'll turn you around. I'll show you what I got. I'll show you our meal plan for the next week ahead, which is New Year week. Um, Tony goes back to work on Thursday, Caleb and I are off for the full week. Um, we do have a couple of meals out planned, a couple of different things this week, so a little bit different still. And then after that, it's back to the normal normalness of weekly meal planning and grocery shopping. Um, this is our last grocery haul of 2019. We've managed to do them all, except for when we were on holiday and we weren't grocery shopping. Um, so... Uh, Really, really surprised that we've made it through the year. I do quite enjoy doing these now. Um, and I know from your comments and from the views we get on the grocery hauls, they are some of the most popular videos that we post. Um, I enjoy watching what other people buy, so I understand that completely. But we do thank each and every one of you that have been on this journey with us this year. We've got some things planned for the new year. We're going to try and brand our channel a little more. We're going to, in terms of having a feel for the channel and having new kind of intro and outro um, part for our videos. Um, but we're not going to change too much because we just like being us and being natural and being real. Um, we're an everyday two working parent family um, and that's how we like to portray ourselves so um, we've looked at the changes coming in on YouTube or have come in on YouTube around children um, we don't believe they particularly affect us there are a couple of our videos over Christmas that have had the comments turned off but that's more because they feature Caleb um, it's not because we've violated anything um, our channel in general is not aimed at children it's aimed at parents of children um, so YouTube will just make that call if there's one that has too much of Caleb in they will probably turn the comments off but other than that I think we're pretty safe to carry on as we are at the moment so I enough rambling. <laughs> nobody has time for rambling. although I probably have more time this week to gabble on a bit than I do normally um, but yes I will turn you around show you what I got at Sainsbury's and then show you our plan for the week ahead Okay, so that is the scan of everything. So it only goes, you can see the Halloween basket is still there. Caleb is still working his way through Halloween candy. That's how little candy 
and sweets this child eats. He does like other treaty things, but candy, especially chocolatey sort of things, he's just not into. And I have been, I've left it there purposefully to resist it. And, and I have done really well. Um, I've obviously indulged a bit these last few days, but who hasn't? So non-food items, I got one of these Intuition Ultra Moisture um, Razors. It's lather and shave in one step, so it has some moisturising stuff in it. Um, that means you don't have to add extra cream or soap when you're shaving. I had a 50% off coupon for this, which is why I bought it. I think the pack, the starter pack was £7, so I got it for three fifty, and then you buy replacement blades for it as you go. A big bag of birdseed. Our Amazon delivery won't be here for a couple of weeks. There is birdseed in this month's delivery, which is the really big bag, but they seem to like this mix, and it's much cheaper to buy this. I think it's a four kilo bag. Uh, yeah, four kilos. Much cheaper to buy it this way than the small bags. Um, got oven baked chips, oven baked crisps for Caleb for this week. Um, he doesn't need to eat um, healthier because he doesn't particularly eat unhealthily. Um, but he does like the baked ones. And I, if, if he prefers something that's more healthy for him, then obviously I'm going to buy it. So got those for him. Uh, wholemeal, roll, wholemeal bread and a 50-50 bread. Um, a pot of vegetable stock pots, a pack of vegetable stock pots. An options, Belgian chocolate salted caramel. I'm going to make some Weetabix muffins later in the week, um, which I use one of these for. And the chocolate Weetabix, which are my favourite Weetabix now anyway. Um, but I use them in the Weetabix muffins. Um, so they become chocolate caramel Weetabix muffins, which are very good. Uh, a little bag of granulated sugar. The boys, I don't have sugar in teas and coffees. The boys don't drink teas and coffees, but they do like a little bit sprinkled on cereal. So it takes us forever to get through a bag of sugar. So I only buy the small bag. I got two of these just to keep us a standby for work, really, um, for lunch times as we go into the new year. I'm going to try these. I do like tuna. Um, and these are the John West steam pots. So Mexican salsa rice with jalapeno tuna and sweet and sour noodles with soy and ginger tuna. Not sure if I'll like them or not. Some of these little pot things I find give me indigestion. Some of the Uncle Ben's ones. Um, I don't know what it is about them. But um, you, I think you cook the like noodles or rice and then you have a little pot of um, tuna, infused tuna to put on the top. So we'll try those in the new year, see how they are. Um, a bottle of barbecue sauce, some chicken gravy granules, a bottle of low, lower fat, less fat um, salad cream, chopped tomatoes, a little pack of canned sweet corn, mushy peas, spaghetti hoops and baked beans, which I've got a dented can. I usually try to avoid that, but didn't spot it. Strawberry and banana smoothies for Caleb. Some Alpro chocolate. This is the... Um, plant-based um, milk alternative. This is a fresh one. You can get it shelf-stabled. I like to use this to make chocolate porridge, which sounds disgusting, but it's delicious with strawberries or raspberries on it. I use 100 mils of this and then the rest water um, to make up a batch of porridge, and it is absolutely delicious. A tub of quark. I'm going to make a crustless quiche for lunches later in the week. A big tub of fat-free Greek yogurt. Can't wait to start getting tucked into that again with fruit. Some smoked Scottish salmon trimmings, a little pack of cheesy mashed potatoes. So as I said tonight, we're having the chicken goujons with I'm going to have baked sweet potato and the boys can have this mash. Um, two things of mozzarella, a light, a lighter one and a regular one. Um, this is a refrigerated rather than frozen pizza, stone baked deli crust cheese fest pizza. I'm going to just pop that in the fridge and for one of the days over the next few days it will do for a lunch for Caleb and Tony to share. Um, frozen broccoli and green beans. I do buy fresh vegetables now and again but I find and I think you hear this over and over again, that the quality is not affected in frozen vegetables. They're literally picked from the field and frozen. So they're about as fresh as you can get them. Um, and the fact that they're frozen doesn't really make a difference. So I buy these big bags of broccoli, sliced green beans, always have peas and corn and usually cauliflower and then sometimes mixed vegetables as well. Um, and they're perfect if for, we can mix up and make our own little mix of vegetables when, we, when we're having vegetables. 
got some frozen Yorkshire puddings. We're going to have a roast chicken dinner for New Year and I thought we'd have a treat of Yorkshire's. Some potato waffles, some other Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages. Now my favourite are the rosemary and red onion. They didn't have, they were out of those. I think everybody's buying them up for New Year, get healthy. Um, and probably have been buying them for use over Christmas as well as a sausage alternative. Um, so I just got the regular vegetarian sausages. I got two packs of the salmon fish cakes. Um, these are really, really good fish cakes. They're really deep. Um, we really like these ones and with the salmon in they suit all three of us. Uh, bacon medallions, a whole chicken, chicken breast fillets, some turkey mints and then these are the goujons we're going to have this evening, just breaded chick chicken goujons, excuse me, hiccups. Um, a bag of white potatoes and a bag of sweet potatoes, some button mushrooms, carrots, spring onions, red onions, I'm going to use those in my quiche, crustless quiche. I love, I love it done with red onions, with eggs and, um, in fact, the eggs are not on the counter. I don't know where I put the eggs when I came in, but I do also have a pack of 15 eggs, free range eggs. <laughs> that just reminded me. Eggs and quark and seasonings and then some red onions that you've just kind of softened in the pan. It is absolutely delicious. Um, cherry tomatoes bag of mixed baby kale for Licky along with some mint and horror they didn't have any parsley he won't be happy about that so I've got him coriander it's not his favorite thing but he'll have to manage with that until I can get some uh, parsley I got a honeydew melon a pack or a net of kiwi fruit some plums and then all the berries raspberries strawberries and blueberries Really looking forward to some of this stuff over the next few days in between Christmas and New Year. Just the thought of berries and yoghurt and that sort of stuff sounds great. So looking at our plan for this next week. So tomorrow we're eating out. Um, we will do a video about where we're going. It's a bit of a surprise for Caleb. Um, somewhere that I spotted on a sat-nav detour um, coming home from a work trip. Um, just randomly found it in a little village we looked it up when we got home and it is exactly for tony and caleb their sort of place to go and eat so it's about an hour or so away from home so we're going to make a bit of a day of it out um, and go there for lunch kind of in between lunch and dinner but stay tuned for what that is sunday we're going to have brinner monday the fish cakes with chips and peas um, tuesday slow cooker bolognese with pasta so that will be for New Year's Eve. New Year's Day, a roast chicken dinner. And then Thursday, I'm going to make a hunter's chicken with salad using the mozzarella, chicken breast, barbecue sauce and bacon um, to make a hunter's style chicken with salad. And I'll probably do some potatoes, little um, the little diced potatoes in the active fryer, something like that. And then Friday, I'm out. So we've got Caleb's two best friends at school, they made firm friends. They didn't know each other when they started their school. They they go to a, just a small village primary at Caleb's school. There's less than 200 children in the school. Um, but the three boys, they started together in, in year R, didn't know each other, but they also didn't know many other people. And they've just formed a really firm friendship. And so every year, the three mums, we try to go out and, and have something to eat or have an evening out. And we just haven't fitted it in this year. So we're doing it on Friday, the 3rd of January. So that's my evening out. So Tony and Caleb will probably, they might go see a movie or something and get something to eat while they're out. But they'll do a boys thing of some kind that evening. So that's our plan. That's our groceries. The last one of the year. Um... Next time we do a grocery haul, it will be 2020. Imagine that. But um, off to put this all away and then sit down and enjoy the rest of my Friday afternoon and evening. <laughs>